What is up guys, this is Foden here with a tutorial showing you how to make a fire effect around a scope which I used in um, my Jiltage video and I'm using it a little bit in my Skyrim montage now so first of all you want to have your clip imported um, then you just want to come up layer make a new solid, make a square uh, I'll just keep that. You could do 720 by 720. I've just made mine a bit bigger. Um, it don't really matter. Make it an ellipse. I want to scale it down a bit. There we go. Um, double tap M. Click on the mask. Control D. Duplicate it. Uh, duplicate it. Subtract the second one. Same old process. And um, minus the expansion. To, so it's uh, to about here, but you can always edit. Let me just go to a scoped bit. All right, here we go. So sorry, I'm just laying down. I'm just gonna sit up because that's uncomfortable. Okay, here we go. So actually, we'll just do this so you can see it. So yeah, we got our sort of circle with a I don't know what that is a tube type thing. I don't. Know. Um, yeah, if you want to bring the feather, I, think, I don't know if it's about 100, no, we'll do 50 on both of them, see what it's like. Um, as you can see here, you've got these black lines, and that's because that's where the box ends, like, where I made the actual solid, sort of like, uh, I can't explain it, well, let me just show you this, that's where the box is. There we go, that's something a little bit easier. So what you want to do is you might just want to bring the expansion down on this a bit and then probably bring that down a bit further. And if you need to size it up again, just you know make it a bit bigger or whatever. But yeah, now we've got this, you want to go to actually I just make that a a white. You want to come to effect, distort, turbulent displace, set the complexity to 10. I think I usually bring mine about so about a hundred uh, the amount of being a hundred and the size of twenty two obviously let me just do this if you just like keyframe from the very start the evolution come to the very end and I'll just hit that on seven and it's not selecting bollocks come on I think alright yeah and then I'll just hit 7 sorry that was bugging me what you want to do is this might be a bit too thick like I think the effect would look better if it was like thin so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to Whack down the um, expansions a bit, make it a bit more thinner. Might look, might look a bit better. So yeah, now we got this. You can just like turn it off and preview the evolution. It's taking quite a long time actually, to be fair. But I'll just do this for now. All right, I'm just gonna whack that up to. 10 make it a little bit faster but you can if you want to increase the size we'll leave it at that size 75 just you know for tutorial purposes um, and you'll just want to leave the rest so the amount 100 size 75 complexity 10 and um, uh, evolution you can do that to whatever you want as fast as you want, as slow as you want. But yeah, now what we do is we'll add some color to it. So um, if I turn this one to like orange, because I not uh, fire sort of orange in it. So I turn that one to orange, and I duplicate it, and I turn it to white. That's sort of all right. But what I want to do is just want to bring this 
expansion in a little bit more. Same thing with this one. So I want to send it back up there. And I probably want to decrease the feather size until we get a nice little fire ring effect like that. And because you've duplicated it, it's still got the same evolution keyframes. So it will be perfect. But if you start adjusting it and that, it will be different. That's your your opinion, but I think it looks pretty stupid like that. If you want it all the same, I think that looks like a nice fiery effect. So once we've got this, I want to duplicate them, uh, pre-compose them, sorry. Just make it a lot easier. Um, no, actually what you want to do is just keep them like that. And you want to just scroll through. And we can see here, select both. Just want to scale them up to the scope. So I think that'll be about right. Alright, I'll do. So then what you'd want to do is you want to scroll through now and go frame by frame until you get like until he's in the scope. So once we're in there, you just want to click Control Shift D and delete these two because <laughs> Oh fucking hell, sorry. Because um he's not in the scope at this duration. So as soon as he gets into the scope it will appear. And you just want to scroll forward to where he comes out of the scope, which is here. Click Control Shift D again. Scroll forward to the next one. Control Shift D and delete these. Shit. And what you want, might want to do is just keep them together. And then what you do is at the end, once you've done all of them, you just want to pre-compose them just so it's like easier to and you can just name them uh, fire rings I don't know just keeps it a bit more like organized than that but yeah if we if I just go on to this add some color correction I think color correction is you know without color correction it looks pretty stupid in my opinion um, I always use color correction what the fuck is that? Anyway, I don't know what a good color correction to use is. Enigma's one. My army, I always... I, li I like the My Army ones. But that's different in a way. Well, that's a good one. You can adjust it. I won't have the veneer. Bring the size. I don't really know much about... There we go. So yeah, I've added some colour correction on the clips. And there you go, you got let me just pre-render this so everyone goes. Just so you can see. Oh fucking hell. That didn't work, did it? We'll just do that from that and I got a Facebook message with it. So it's just pre-rendering now, it's got colour correction. As you can see, it's cut perfectly, frame by frame. So it only shows when he's in the in the scope. And with some music and some other effects, I don't know, can make it look nice. So I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, comment below or, or comment on any video of any tutorial you want to see, because I just want to give like I don't want to make pointless tutorials. I want to make tutorials that actually people want to see. You know. So if you can comment you know anything you want to see even even if it's not like a tutorial or something you want to see I'll do my best to try and do it so yeah don't don't hesitate to do that <laughs> like and comment the video and um, check out the jewel Taj if you haven't already but I think most of you probably have um, and I'll see you in the next video peace